James Harden just went out and called his general manager, Daryl Morey, a liar, and he said that he never, ever wants to speak with him ever again. Daryl Morey is a liar, and I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. Let me say that again. Daryl Morey is a liar, and I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. Again. Thank you, man. So the reason we all woke up to James Harden calling out his his general manager is because of how James Harden thought this offseason was going to go out. If you don't know the relationship between James Harden and Daryl Morey, this is what it is. Daryl Morey was the general manager of the Houston Rockets, and he was the one that traded for James Harden when James Harden was still in OKC. Now, as James Harden bloomed into the player that we know him today as, the MVP, the all-star, the person that was in his corner the most when he was criticized for, those, for his way of play was Daryl Morey. Daryl Morey went on record saying that, he, that James Harden was statistically the best player ever. And there was some merit to that. If you look at the numbers, James Harden was one of the best offensive players ever. But he was always championing James Harden and he's pretty much a fanboy of James Harden. Fast forward to after the 2019 season in Houston and Daryl Morey left. He left to become the general manager of the Philadelphia 76ers. James Harden forced his way out of Houston and he went to Brooklyn. But his relationship with Daryl Morey was so connected and they were so close with each other that Daryl Morey eventually went and traded for him. He really wanted James Harden. He really thought highly of James Harden. So fast forward to a season and a half after James Harden's been with the Philadelphia 76ers and their relationship is looking sour. Their relationship, it looks like the bridge between them is burnt and it's burnt for good. And why is that? Well, it comes down to how this offseason was supposed to go for James Harden. You see, James Harden last summer decided to take a pay cut in order to stay with, with the Philadelphia 76ers. He was really bought in to the idea that him and Joel Embiid were really going to win a championship. And so he took a pay cut so they can get better players. So he sacrificed for his team and it was a good look for James Harden. And when it didn't work out, when when this season didn't work out, Philadelphia 76ers lost to the Boston Celtics, James Harden wanted out. He, he wanted a new place where he could chase a ring and where he thought he had the best chances in. And the Los Angeles Clippers looked like that was the team. They looked like, all right, I'm gonna join them. So what does James Harden do? Earlier this offseason, James Harden opted into his contract with the Philadelphia 76ers for one year. He opted into it under the premise that he was gonna, it was going to be a signing trade. That's what Daryl Morey told him. Well, that's what we're being told, that Daryl Morey, that James, that Daryl Morey and James Harden came to the agreement that he would opt in, into his contract and he would be traded to the 76ers. Well, fast forward a few months and the trade talks with the 76ers fell through. Or so it seems. It looks like Daryl Morey really doesn't want to let go of James Harden. James Harden's mad because he left money on a table for the 76ers. It didn't work out. Then he was lied to that we will sign you and then we will trade you. And once his name was on the dotted line, the promise that was made to him completely got switched. And so because of that, James Harden came out and publicly verbally assaulted Daryl Morey and called him a liar and someone that he doesn't trust and someone he never wanna works with. And other NBA players chimed in. Kyrie Irving chimed in on this. It was reported that disgruntled James Harden calls out Daryl Morey. J Kyrie Irving came to his former teammate's defense and said, is, Ky is James Harden really disgruntled or is he just voicing his opinion or his perspective of how he was lied to and manipulated by the guy he had trusted? And so that's the situation we are at right now. The trade talks to send James Harden to the Los Angeles Clippers fell through, and it looks like Daryl Morey was asking for too much. Again, it goes back to, he thinks James Harden's a really, really good player, and he doesn't want to give him up for nothing, and James Harden wants to leave, he's done. He was really adamant that he wanted to leave the 76ers. And so that's where we are right now, right now. But in my opinion, this is a terrible look for James Harden. Why? Because he is airing out dirty laundry publicly. I am, I think, the way to do business is to always be discreet. If things don't work out behind closed doors, that's okay, that's fine. But you don't have to air out dirty laundry. Why? Because in my opinion, it makes James Harden look really bad. 
because of James Harden's path. If we go back to look at how James Harden left the Houston Rockets, how was it? It was very ugly, right? James Harden showed up with a fat suit and he started to sabotage the team. He wasn't playing to his hardest. He wasn't scoring as many points as we knew he could just because he wanted his way. So he got, so he forced his way out of Houston all the way to Brooklyn. Stayed with Brooklyn for six months and how did he leave that situation? It was ugly. He forced another trade. He forced his way out and he went to the Philadelphia 76ers. Now that he's with the 76ers, right? Things aren't going his way and he wants out. He wants to force his way out. But he wants to force his way out. Granted, I do agree. It was a pretty shady move on Daryl Morey's part to not grant James Harden what he wanted that it was gonna be a signing trade. But it could have been that Daryl Morey really did try to make that trade with the Los Angeles Clippers and it just fell through. So we don't know the full story there, but from the way it's looking, it looks like James Harden was slighted. So because of that, because of how James Harden has done business in the past, forcing his way out of Philadelphia right now looks bad for him. Furthermore, coming out and publicly shaming and attacking a general manager doesn't look good for you because why? You remember, it's a monkey see monkey do leap. How do you think other general managers are looking at James Harden treating Daryl Morey because their business dealings fell out? It doesn't look good. So general managers are like, okay, well, in, in, in the future, am I gonna be willing to give James Harden as much money? Am I gonna be willing to even come to the table to discuss contracts with James Harden? Because what if things between me and him don't go as well as he wanted it? Is he gonna go out into public and call me a liar? It doesn't look good. And that's why I'm always a proponent of doing business behind closed doors. Keep it in the family, keep it, with, keep it, keep it in the organization, right? You don't need to come out and publicly call him a liar and just drag his name through the mud. I understand he's frustrated. I understand James Harden's frustrated, but it's not a good look. So now it's looking like James Harden will remain with the 76ers for one more year, for one more year, even though he doesn't want to be there. And that could turn it into a really bad situation. We've seen how James Harden can sabotage a team when he really doesn't want to be there with the Houston Rockets. And you, we know now that he is very disgruntled. How is that going to play together? Is he going to sabotage the 76ers? Is he? Because Daryl Morey expects him to show up at training camp. He doesn't want to show up at training camp. He wanted, he wasn't willing to show up at training camp because that's what he was holding out. That's what he thought he held over Daryl Morey's head that he was going to get traded. But that's not the case. Daryl Morey sticking with his gun and saying, listen, you signed a deal. Yeah, I lied, but you signed a deal and this is what's gonna happen, right? And this is a great, great example of always get it in writing. If you're gonna do a contract, always get it in writing. Yeah, words or whatever, they're not binding. Get it on paper that, hey, you're gonna, I'm gonna sign this contract and you're gonna, then you're gonna deal me to the Clippers. But James Harden didn't do that, it didn't work out for him and we are at this point right now impasse it looks like the 76ers are once again imploding same thing happened with Ben Simmons Ben Simmons refused to come in and play for the 76ers James Harden refusing to come in and play for the 76ers unless he's trading and it's looking really bad he's calling out his general manager and it's not a pretty look but that's where we are right now I think it looks bad for James Harden and hopefully these two men can get in a room together and hash this out like real men behind closed doors and come to an agreement but that's where we are right now it's not looking good for the 76ers right now, but those are just my thoughts on the James Harden debacle. If you like this kind of content, make sure to hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave your thoughts in the comments below, and thank you guys for watching.